my hero my dear friends welcome back to this channel of this life going on today we will talk about one of the important techniques to mitigate the multipath uh, uh, fading effect uh, before that i want to summarize uh, all the things which has been spoken in the previous videos so initially we have spoken about multipath propagation and multipath fading concept uh, uh, this fading concept is very much important uh, uh, please go through this video once again uh, and uh, prepare uh, the definition of fading concept properly because this will be asked in many interviews in the telecom industries okay so after that uh, we spoke about uh, uh, the wireless fading channel coefficients and uh, how that is modeled as a relic distribution and we derived uh, the expression as well so when we spoke about multipath fading concept uh, and due to fading uh, we also saw that uh, the snr goes down right so when snr goes down uh, we know that uh, the bit error performance uh, will be bad so we need to have a, a, a metric uh, between uh, snr and uh, br uh, to decide on the performance for that uh, we spoke about uh, uh, the br of a awgn channel and br of a wireless fading channel right especially in case of awgn channel uh, uh, i was mentioning that uh, we need to achieve the b in order to achieve the br less than 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, the snr requirement uh, uh, which was derived to be which was derived to be 13.5 db right but in case of a wireless fading channel so in case of a wireless channel uh, to achieve the br 10 to the power of minus 6 uh, uh, what is the snr required we discussed this but uh, for that we defined one parameter that is called the outage probability uh, so outage probability defined was one percent uh, so since uh, 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 the channel h uh, would be varying uh, in a wireless channel uh, we had we had to consider the probability of uh, bit error rate uh, uh, achieving less than 10 to the power of minus 6 and uh, this we wanted it to be 99 percent which is complement to this outage probability right so in this case snr came to be around 33 db uh, which clearly said that we need to pump in 20 db extra power in order to meet the same br performance right so we discussed uh, uh, how to bring in this uh, power requirement to, to a lower value because in practical systems uh, um, to pump in more power it would be costly or uh, uh, it would be uh, it would not meet the uh, power requirements right so for that we had considered uh, a model which is a single input multiple output uh, there uh, you know we considered uh, for simplicity the number of receive antennas as to in this case uh, to achieve the same br performance we saw that snr uh, uh, achieved was around 23 db so as you can clearly see from 33 db and there was a 10 db reduction in the requirement uh, so we concluded that by increasing the number of receive antenna uh, we can definitely meet uh, uh, the br performance with less uh, power requirements so we derived uh, the formula uh, for snr uh, in a generic way for any number of nr antennas so that that was equal to 13.5 db minus uh, uh, 10 by number of receive antennas log to the base 10 and p0 p0 was uh, our outage probability so in in this case it was uh, it is 10 raised to minus 2 uh, so if you substitute nr is equal to 1 then we will achieve this uh, 33 db and if we uh, put 2 then we will see that uh, you will get uh, around 23 db so now let us see for nr is equal to 4 in this case uh, the snr will be coming to around 18 db you can see that uh, when you increase the number of receive antenna further the snr requirement also uh, coming down okay from 23 db to 18 db so now we know that we need to increase the number of receive antennas so i would like to consider the system which is single input multiple output where uh, uh, you have number of receive antennas as nr and definitely we will have um, 
in our links okay so each link uh, i have represented as h1 h2 up to hnr so this is our transmitter and this is the receiver uh, from the transmitter we are going to transmit to x and that x will be transmitted along all the directions so the received signal will be y1 y2 uh, up to ynr across uh, each of the antennas so in this case uh, we are so in this case we already know that to achieve the same br performance uh, um, when there are more number of receive antenna the snr requirement is coming down okay but there is one more uh, concept which uh, we need to know that is how are we actually going to combine these received signals efficiently so that uh, the snr is further boosted up okay that is what uh, we should uh, uh, analyze and understand for that uh, in this video i am going to talk to mainly about uh, one particular technique that is maximal ratio combining in this technique uh, as the name itself says we are going to maximize uh, some ratio that ratio is actually snr okay so since we are going to combine the received signal uh, in efficient way uh, so the combining name is also present over here so for simplicity what i would what i will do is i will consider uh, uh, you know just uh, two antennas to explain the concept of uh, uh, mrc and even it will be easy for the derivation so this is the transmitter we are transmitting x uh, h1 h2 and this is uh, y1 y2 and this is the receiver all right so how can we write about y1 y1 is equal to h1 x but since we'll also have noise so it will be y1 so n1 so y2 is equal to okay all right now <clears throat> we can write this in the matrix form this is uh, y bar h bar x plus n bar okay where uh, I, I, I want to specifically talk about noise where uh, n bar is equal to uh, n1 n2 this is the vector so here we are assuming something that is each of these ni's or iids which are independent and ide identically distributed random variables so which means that uh, some statistics uh, uh, we need to capture over here if we take ni ni conjugate uh, that will be equal to zero all right so that is when i is not equal to j so if you consider expectation of uh, uh, ni and ni star this let us consider it as sigma square so we are considering this noise as a uh, additive white gaussian noise right and uh, we want to write the statistics it is zero mean variance sigma square that's where um, this ni ni conjugate will be sigma square okay with this um, let us try to capture uh, the requirement for mrc so mrc uh, says uh, we need to maximize snr okay so there is one more condition uh, such that uh, whatever the weight vector we use which is uh, w bar so its normalization should be one okay no, norm uh, vector should be one so this is to ensure that uh, we are not going to unnecessarily boost up the signal okay so first we will capture the snr uh, for that in case of uh, uh, we need to just understand in case of mrc how are we going to do the combining so we had y1 and y2 right so we we have to combine this but for that i would be using weights so i will use w1 and w2 as the weights so we are we going to combine them uh, uh, linearly which means w1 y1 plus w2 y2 is considered so in the vector form how can i write uh, I can write this as W1, W2, okay, and Y1, Y2. So this will be uh, W bar Armitian, Y bar. Uh, so I want to take uh, this as a conjugate over here because I have considered uh, Armitian. Mm. okay so let us combine this way so how would the snr would look like so 
so we consider the model uh, y bar is equal to uh, h bar x plus n so if you are doing uh, mrc then uh, it will be w bar armation y bar is equal to w bar armation h bar x plus w bar armation n bar right so this is the signal part this is the noise part we need to calculate uh, uh, snr snr will be uh, so the expectation of w bar armation h bar x and w bar so this is how actually we calculate uh, uh, the power so if it if uh, um, we have the vector x then uh, if it is a complex quantity then it will be the power will be expectation of x into x armation okay so similarly uh, we can write about uh, the noise as well which is uh, expectation of uh, w bar armation n bar into w bar armation n bar whole armation so let, let us try to calculate uh, individually uh, the signal power uh, will become expectation of uh, w bar armation h bar then x bar x bar armation h bar and w bar so this is turning out to be w bar armation h bar and the expectation of x bar x bar armation and h bar armation w bar okay so uh, this is actually uh, the power p uh, so this is the power of uh, the transmitted uh, signal from the transmitter so th this will this we can write it as uh, modulus of w bar armation h bar whole square and to p okay similarly we can write the noise power okay expectation of w bar armation n bar n bar armation w bar so this will turn out to be w bar armation so expectation of n bar n bar armation and w bar right so what is this so let's calculate uh, expectation of uh, n bar n bar armation okay so i am writing it uh, to, to to make uh, the things more clear so n bar would be uh, n1 and n2 and uh, we'll have n1 and uh, n2 uh, armation sorry mm. conjugate conjugate so this will come to be uh, n1 n1 star then n1 n2 star So if you if you, if you actually use that uh, statistical properties of noise uh, as I was mentioning in the previous video, you will get it as sigma square into identity. Okay, this will become zero. This will become zero. This will become sigma square. Sigma square. All right. Um, so if you substitute back uh, uh, this into the, the noise power, then noise power will uh, become um, sigma square into so w mission w will become norm of uh, w bar square sorry actually i have written it as uh, uh, x bar but it is just uh, okay x okay. it's not a vector it's a scalar quantity so that's why we have written it as p okay there is only one symbol transmitted from the transmitter because we have only one antenna over here all right so now we we, we can prepare the equation for the snr right maximize what is the snr now the signal power that is written by w bar uh, armation uh, h bar modulus whole square into p divided by what is the nice power so sigma square into so so we have one more condition as well which is uh, such that so norm of w bar is equal to one so here i want to consider uh, Cauchy squads inequality. 
so sorry if i am uh, making mistakes uh, in the the spelling but uh, i will try to take care of that so this says that uh, your this quantity will be equivalent to okay so then what can we write about this snr right so uh, how can we write this uh, sigma square norm of w bar square into so this will become all right so basically we want to maximize this right if you want to maximize this as per this equation uh, the equality should hold good so as per uh, this uh, inequality uh, the equality holds good when w bar and h bar are aligned okay so aligned meaning so w bar should be equivalent to uh, h bar okay but uh, we need to consider uh, this particular uh, uh, condition um, so to meet this condition um, you are actually w bar should should be should be can be written as norm of h bar so if you use this as a w bar then your snr is maximized and also your w bar norm norm w bar square will be will also become one okay so this w bar is called as spatial spatially matched filter So now, uh, basically, it's like uh, we are combining. Uh, um, so we are combining all the components at the receiver uh, coherently. So we had y1, we had y2, right? So we were talking about uh, w1 y1 plus uh, w2 y2. We are going to combine this coherently. Coherent combining as per the solution we got which means that see w1 if we substitute it will become uh, h1 conjugate right so for this one is h1 x plus n1 similarly this is uh, h2 conjugate so h2 x plus n2 if you see this and this how is it how, what does it become modulus of h square x plus n1 plus modulus of h2 x plus n2 so here we are basically eliminating the phase component here also so all the signals are will be combined with same phase so there is a definitely a constructive interference okay so if uh, the current combining is not done then there may be a chance of destructive interference due to out of phase okay so since we are combining it currently uh, the effect of, uh, of fading is reduced right so this is the concept of uh, uh, maximum uh, ratio combining uh, in the upcoming videos we'll talk about uh, the further concepts related to wireless communication uh, please stay tuned thanks for watching uh, my dear friends have a great day bye bye